Hi everybody, this is Brother2, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the current prototype of Boss Monster. So I'm going to tap to start, and as you can see in this uh, menu screen, I can go single player or multiplayer. Multiplayer is pass and play local multiplayer or uh, online multiplayer uh, through Game Center and Android. Uh, but I'm going to go with single player right now because I'm the only person who has this game. And I'm going to go with a two player game. So this is against an AI opponent. And it's going to randomly assign me a boss. So as you know, oh, I am Seducia, Sorceress of Sexiness. Great boss. And uh, as you know, if you've played Boss Monster, I am the boss of a dungeon, and I am trying to build the strongest dungeon to destroy heroes, but also an attractive dungeon uh, to make sure that I'm luring heroes in. And the game begins with an opportunity to look through my hand and decide which cards I'm going to want in my dungeon. Um, I wouldn't normally do this, but for now I'm going to go ahead and discard both of the spell cards I got in my opening hand. Uh, so I have a maximum number of room building options. So as the game begins, I have the five cards that I have chosen. And some of these cards I can't play right away. So you can see Monster's Ballroom here is black and white. Uh, that's because it's an advanced room. I have to build this over a room with a matching treasure type. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build Golem Factory. And I'm going to hit Done. And Draculord will reveal what he's built, uh, which is Zombie Prison. Uh, so that was the pre-game. And now, as will happen for every other turn in the game, a couple of heroes have come into town. So we've got a thief and we have a fighter. And uh, in this game, I need to give the heroes treasure uh, that is attractive to them. So the treasure icon is in the bottom right-hand corner of each of these cards. And the fighters are drawn to magic swords, like the Monster's Ballroom has. Uh, while thieves are drawn to money bags, like the jackpot stash has. Uh, that's a pretty weak thief, so I am tempted to get that thief with the jackpot stash, but I can't quite do enough damage yet. So, for now, I'm going to go ahead and build a succubus spa and see what Draculord does. All right. Uh, so nobody went for that thief. The fighter comes through, and because it's still early in the game, the fighter makes it through and deals me a wound. My goal is to get 10 souls before I get 5 wounds, or before any other player gets 10 souls. Um, so right now, Draculord has a slight edge on me, but I think I can build a good dungeon here and get the edge on him. Um, so I'm going to build a monstrous monument next. Um, this card has a nice ability that lets me draw something from the discard pile. And I can see here Dracolich Lair is in the discard pile. That's a, quite a nice card to have. Uh, so I'll pick that up, bring it into my hand, as well as Dr Goblin Armory, which I get at the beginning of the turn. And at this point, we have a lot of heroes stacked up in town, a um, few different power levels of hero, and... Uh, this is going to be, I think, a big turn for us to either damage heroes or be damaged by them. Um, so I'm going to play that goblin, or sorry, that Drag Draculich Lair. And I have the choice to play it either over my Monstrous Monument or my Succubus Spa. And I think I'm going to go for... Hmm. I'll go over the Monstrous Monument. So I can send a couple of those strong fighters to Draculord. So Draculord is not yet able to deal 8 damage, which is what he'd need uh, to defeat uh, Johnny of the Evening Watch. Uh, so he's going to take a couple of wounds this turn. And meanwhile, I'm using the right kind of treasure to keep those heroes uh, from coming to my dungeon. But if I build another Cleric Room, like Spectre's Sanctum, and if my opponent doesn't, I've got a couple heroes who are going to be coming my way this turn. So I've got Delatorius and Puji the Druidus. Draculord is now going to take out this thief. So he gets his first soul. This thief looks like he's going to make it through. Draculord's dungeon is 
pretty attractive. He's got a lot of treasure, but isn't doing a lot of damage. But is doing enough damage to defeat a four power hero uh, like this fighter. So now let's see how I'm doing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage exactly in my dungeon. And what's cool is that when uh, I kill a hero, I get to draw an extra room card. Dizzy Gas Hallway comes through, thanks to my Golem Factory. And uh, the Druidus dies in the Succubus Spa, which uh, gives me a card from my opponent's hand, which is also very cool. Okay, so I have uh, I've jumped forward a couple of turns here, uh, so you can see what things look like toward the end of the game. Uh, right now my opponent has three wounds. It'll only take five to take down Draculord, so uh, this could be the turn, depending on how things work out here. Um, so we're about to build our rooms, and I have revealed a jackpot stash. I was hoping to grab that thief from him, uh, but it looks like I won't. And that means the thief is gonna get through and at the end of this turn, Seducia is the winner. So that gives you a little bit of a sense. Uh, again, right now the prototype is still very early. Uh, the AI is still very early, but hopefully you can see that a lot of what we're gonna have in the final game is already working and uh, it's looking really good. The interface is really easy to use and uh, there's plenty of room for improvement, but we're really excited about what Plane Concepts has uh, done up to this point. So. Again, uh, with your help, Digital Boss Monster can be a reality. So thanks again for your support, and uh, we'll see you in the comments.